Hello again, this is Lino Tados. In this video, I would like to really continue a little bit on the RAG video from the previous one. Um, so far, I've actually just loaded a very, very simple one-page PDF to do that. And I wanted to actually show you what happens when, uh, when we upload a bigger file and we would like to chunk it a little bit better. And the reason why I would want to do that. So, for instance, I went to the whitehouse.gov website and uh, legally, of course, every single speech, the State of the Union speech from every single president uh, will need to be available in a text format on that website. So I downloaded the one from last year for President Biden for 2023, for instance, and I wanted to start asking questions about it. Before I do an embedding and vectorization on that document, I just went ahead and I used uh, several models and I asked, for instance, some of them, what did the President uh, Biden say regarding medication during the speech? Uh, of the State of the Union of 2023. And some of them says, I have no idea. I was trained uh, way before that, <laughs> right? Maybe I was trained in February and he made the speech in March. So I have no access to that. So I cannot really answer you. And some of them that are actually the latest one um, came back and says, uh, President Biden did not mention anything about the medication during the speech. So I said like, hmm, I remember he mentioning some things about the uh, medication, but he didn't maybe call it medication. So this is where I would like to show you the value of doing embedding and vectorization. For instance, I'm going to bring in here the PDF that I loaded from the whitehouse.gov website. Notice it is 34 pages. 34 pages and the entire speech for President Biden is right here, okay? So, of course, I can take this, copy and paste this entire text and make it part of my prompt and then send it to the LLM and say, what did the president say about uh, medication? Of course, I'm paying too much money at this point because this is 34 pages and it's going to tokenize this entire document, everything in the 34 pages. So, I'm paying a little bit too much money in here to do that. Wouldn't it be best, of course, if I take this entire document and before I send it to the LLM, before I actually pay anything at all, I would like to embed and, first, of course, ingest the document, uh, chunk the document, and then embed the document into multiple chunks and then go ahead and create that and put it in a vectorization database. So the next time I'm going to say, what did the president say regarding medication? even though the LLM might not know that he talked about medication, when all it will take the question, all right, and it will do the same thing even with the questions. It will actually embed the question and it will put it into the, uh, uh, into the vector sphere that I've created and it will find out what we call similarities, how close it is to other things. So it will find out that the word medication is very close to the words like prescription drugs or uh, COVID uh, or something like this that will be very close that the, 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 the president have talking about. Then it would be able to answer that even though it did not use the word medication in the document itself. So that is the beauty of that. The other beauty of that is that I am not paying for the tokenization of all 34 pages because it will do the search and it will find out there is only four chunks in the entire document that talks about prescription drugs. And only these four chunks are the ones that are going to make it into the prompt to go to the LLM. So you're only paying tokenization for four chunks instead of hundreds of different chunks that will have to go there to be able to do that. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and, and give it a shot and see if we can actually make it happen. Let's go back in here. I'd like to duplicate what I did earlier with the pets uh, PDF from the previous video. So instead of doing all the stuff again, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go to each and every single one of these four activities and I'm going to say duplicate. And there is a duplication. I'm going to duplicate this one as well. I'm going to move it right here. I'm going to duplicate the vector uh, store and we'll bring it in here. Let's move it down. And I'm going to also duplicate the embedding and I'll bring it down here. All right. So I duplicated the four of them. Uh, this one, instead of the, uh, the, P the, 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 uh, the pets.pdf, let me go ahead and upload a different file. And in here, we'll come and say, I call it SAW2 for State of the Union address. Let's, oh, there it is for 2023. I'm going to upload this file, alrighty, and that's the only thing I need to do for this one except the chunking. This is a much bigger file, so I'm going to actually go ahead and do this based on the 500 characters, and maybe we'll do this based on 50 uh, chunk overlaps as well. Alright, let me go ahead and, and connect the two together, and I'm good. The next one for the embedding, I don't need to do anything. I'm still going to have my YouTube credentials that I created for OpenAI, and I'm going to use the ADA002 as the model that will do the embedding for me to create all of these 1,536 different axes of similarities and so on. All right, let me bring in the embedding in here into my vector store, 
and the document which is the state of the union from 2023 straight here into my document as well excellent now let's go ahead and break the relationship oh i don't have a relationship between the other pets.pdf so i just need to bring in my memory retriever like that and i'm going to bring it into the vector store right there awesome notice this is orphan now it's not a part of my chat open ai in the conversation but i'm going to leave it in here just in case when i save all of that when I go back to the absurd, again, there will be two different uh, absurd vector stores. There is the old one, the PDF file zero. That's the one that is pointing to the old pets.pdf. But there is a new one now, the PDF file underscore one, and that's the uh, SAW2 2023 right there. Make sense? All right, let's go ahead and uh, do the absurd on the second one. And that's a bigger document, so we'll take a few seconds. And it ended up creating 137 different chunks. Each chunk is made out of 500 different characters, all right? And they're all in here. That's how easy it happened. Now, when I go back and, uh, and start a chat, I can ask the system, let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. I'm going to say, what did uh, President Biden say about medication? Uh, during the speech during the speech for instance okay let's go ahead and ask and see if the system will be able to figure it out even though the word medication was not used president Biden mentioned that the inflation reduction act efforts about the health care cost including the prescription drugs and notice there are four chain four uh, chunks that it found out of the 137 chunks these are the only chunks that made it into the llm so i'm only paying for those this is awesome all right so if i would like to prove it to myself click on any of the chunks and you will notice in here on page 10 there was a mention of something that is related to medication like prescription drugs and then if i go back and maybe open this one and if you go down on page 11 uh, happen the uh, same thing for seniors for instance on page 17 he mentioned something and there is the chunk that contains something about seniors on medicare and so on and finally uh, there is another chunk available on page 29 all the way at the end of the of the speech we passed the law making the easier doctors or prescription again the word medication was not used but again this is the beauty of actually having similarities and being able to do um, uh, as you can see in the future as well will be semantic searches and so on and so forth so hopefully that makes sense with a little bit more interesting uh, example than just a one page pet so hopefully that makes sense and i'll see you again soon in another video please don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos and like if you can thank you so much